So yeah, of course. We do see now, however, that he is sticking with Game & Watch. And that's okay. going to be a funky matchup because there's going to be Salami and there's going to be <laughs> Holy Crosses. But we'll see what happens now. Yeah, what a an interesting matchup, right? You got a man made of paper from the 80s going up against a uh, 1700s vampire hunter with all this religious equipment <laughs> <laughs> and an axe. What a, like, wow. Yeah, this is the greatest crossover of all time, man. This, Infinity War, take a seat. If this screenshot were to be in a time capsule sent back in time to, like, the early 90s, like, what would that even, what, what, what is this? You know what I mean? Like, what is happening? But nevertheless, I mean, we're actually seeing Reggie apply Bucket now. And this is the p character definitely to take stuff into the bucket now with all these projectiles. Projectiles flying at him. Well, you can only absorb the holy water, but one of Game of Watch's most significant changes is that that bucket will reflect anything that he can't absorb. So we're going to see crosses and axes flying back at Richter if Nurse isn't particularly careful. Wow, look at that interaction. That was interaction. a very complex interaction. Not only reflecting holy water back, but then axe going into the hitbox of holy water. I mean, that's how it can get really funky. And I do enjoy the utility that moves like Rob's spin, uh, side B, and uh, Nairu's love with the reflect, which was in the previous game, but also Game Watch's bucket reflecting and absorbing. It's cool because moves aren't just pigeonholed into one thing anymore. Right, Palutena's counter. I'd say one of the most notable examples the of that. Duality, yeah. The proximity change. Yeah, it's um. either a counter on hit or it's a reflector on projectile. Yeah, very cool stuff. Reggie, though. Dropping the first stock, and I'd say for oh, most deep. most historic watchers of Smash 4, you're going to have Reggie pegged as the favorite to win this. But Nurse, a player who really never got a chance to travel that far, but was very much respected in his region. Yeah, now it's time to make a name not only for himself, but also for Canada as, you know, we start to see some of the really heavyweights like Ally and stuff still have some success in Ultimate, but now expectations are even higher than before. You see Reggie sending the cross back at Richter. Really effective in a matchup like this, but on the real, kind of similar to how Nurse's last set went with the Zelda player, when there are so many different projectiles, your reflector might lose uh, incentive to be thrown out. Yeah, I mean, there's so many choices, and if you choose incorrectly, that can cost you the stock, but we are seeing some parrying attempted, but it's so hard with a character like Richter with everything that's going on. The thing, though, however, is that the recovery Attention, isn't necessarily uh, being abused. Mr. Game Watch being such a tiny character, it's going to make those aerials, if they're not angled downward from Richter, go over his head a lot. And Nurse, so far, has just been shooting him straight. Definitely want to see him adjust that on the fly. Yeah, you could apply so much more pressure if you're going down. I think he attempted it with that fair. Yeah, he's pairing Holy Crosses, which is great, but a tether gets him back to the stage. It's something that's so hard to work through only because, again, you have to get in the way of his tether, which is also a forward air. Oh, the berry, that'll do it. Yes, Game Watch is down smash. Went from New being addition. a bit underwhelming to a crazy kill confirm. It sent a bit, it sent people at a very ugly angle, similar to Ganon's forward tilt, just like a super awful steep angle that would send you off stage with no recourse. But now with the addition of Barry, that sends for so many new conversions. Literally into anything you want. Basically. But I think we saw a failed parry there on the Holy Cross. He ate it to the face, and I think that's because he wasn't able to get shield out in time. But Bucket is still paying dividends as he's reflecting most, if not all, of what Nurse is sending at him. Yeah, and a character like Richter, who is almost entirely reliant on projectile setups, that could be really devastating to his game plan. I don't know if Nurse is able to fill the screen so much that he really could dissuade Reggie from going for a, the Bucket a lot. Yeah, these axes, so dangerous. They are so heavy. When I first used Richter and used this axe, I was like, oh, this is going to be whatever. And then it's like, it hits like that thing is made out of 50 pounds of iron. It does like 18 or 20 damage. Yeah, great Pretty ledge ridiculous. coverage, great uh, anti-air almost because of the arc, the parabolic shape. Absolutely. Dissuading so many people from jumping into you. But here we see potentially Reggie getting something started. The uppers, unfortunately, not ending in anything but damage. 96% great for Reggie, but again, we need to see that kill being taken. Now Nurse is taking a little bit of his time, slowing things down. He's starting with the cross, starting with the forward airs. Reggie's trying to change them off stage, but now we're back in neutral. I like Nurse's use of down tilt to escape the corner, down air to get to the ground a little faster, but that should do it. Yes, Reggie just ensuring the kill, running off of the back air. And so Nurse, man, he, he started so strong, but Reggie just started to figure it out. You know what? I can reflect 
most, if not all, of the projectiles. Yeah, and that awareness to be off stage and going so deep and challenging it, honestly, at that point, there was no risk for Reggie aside from a fumble of the buttons. He was totally safe to go down there because, again, Richter and Simon's recovery is just so bad. Like, so bad when they're beyond the tether range. I mean, you're going to be dying because the upbeat barely sends you anywhere. Similar to Little Metal. However, character swap. Instead of Richter, now a Bowser switch. Very compelling. Yeah, not sure what the move is here. Again, Nurse, a Wario player in Smash 4, if I'm not incorrect. So to see him just bringing two brand new characters to the table is cool. Meanwhile, Reggie still able to get it done with Game & Watch. I definitely had uh, low hopes for this character when I saw his new forward air and how easy it is to just get rid of by clanking. But still, uh, Reggie not even falling back on it really. He's just been using a solid mix of grabs, neutral air, a little bit of back air in there. Yeah, and I really enjoy this stage because even though we're seeing triplats and some people might cite redundancy, I like the space it affords and I like how there is a lot of room to move up on, you know? And having also the combination of those walls on the side, you get wall jumps, you get more interactions that are unique and not just like, again, a battlefield where you can just run up under the ledge. But right there, Nurse took the first side with a pretty solid up, uh, sorry, back air. Potentially could do it again given how light Game & Watch is. Just gonna recover to the edge. Oh no! Terrible angle. And the hammer telling him that you are not allowed to come back. Dead even at this point pretty much, but the weight and kill power differential between these characters is huge. Yeah, this is like literally tissue paper against not construction paper, but like a sheet of metal. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that's a fair characterization. Yeah, but oh, ooh, new forward air. I like it. I, I'm curious to see how it's implemented later. Yeah, I like it as well. I feel like it's going to develop, but just losing that close range smack was such a, a drag as well. Ooh, ooh, we'll yeah. see though. I mean, I feel like Meister has been winning almost every event in Chicago. Somehow he's there <laughs> all the time now. Um, he actually lost the Yeti. He did. Yeah, it, but still, a lot of W's on the board for him in the Midwest. And um, I feel like there are other Game Watches that have been doing well. Game Leon won. got second at um, Zeno two days ago wow. with a mixture of Game Watch and Bowser. Beat Venia with Game & Watch. Ooh, yeah, that is like the Greninja authority, of course, from Tri-State. But I do want to say that the new, like, animation changes for Game & Watch are very, very cool. Yeah, yeah, they are. The throws to his actual lore. Yeah. Brian but Nurse Donovan. wasn't able to take it so close. Brian Maybe Point if it were Donovan. instead a grab that could pummel with a similar effect. However, a command grab like that can't pummel through it. And he does lose off stage to Reggie, who is sitting at kill percent. However, he's going to rack this damage right back up with that neutral air into Puff Puff Puff. Oh, jeez. That is keeping Bowser up, and that's a real problem now. I think that, that move actually is a significant improvement. Even though the old up air was great to keep Juggles going, this one just feels more tangible. Of course, it does damage. <gasps> Yo. This man just tried to lay the judgment on Reggie. Getting a 5 instead with the electrical attack. A 9 would have sent half the side stream into orbit. However, edge guarding with the fish. With the everything that was in that pan. Coming down with a spike, unfortunately. Reggie has to make it back. And now Nurse is sitting at 137%. He has to eliminate him soon. Unless he's have the same done to him. Now he's off stage. This is now a bad position. He gets back. That arc being way, way too wide. Ooh. The back air seals it. Man, I feel like I've seen Bowser live through all kinds of nonsense that he absolutely should have died from. So to see Game Watch's back or close him out there was a bit surprising, despite the, uh, the huge damage value. Snapping turtles are not cool, man. Like, <laughs> no. They actually are insane. I've seen snapping turtles bite through, like, you know, all sorts of stuff.